up something at CVS and I also got a Starbucks gift card for Christmas so I want to use it so we're gonna get us a, a coffee real quick and there's like a whole thing of features but my favorite thing ever is this what did you eat man <laughs> Pin. Oh here. Shoot, that's a lot. Yeah, but the one I need like two pins. Even though LA and New York are in the same country, they're so different. New York is my place, man. I super love the energy of New York. It's so fast-paced. Everything is like right at, at your fingertips all the time. You literally can go down, walk down the block, meet people for coffee, or like go to a meeting with someone really high up in some position in the company that you want to work for or be part of. It's so much more accessible, I guess. In LA, it's way more laid back. Yeah, it's beautiful. So that's the other thing. The weather in LA is the best. But everything so far. Like you have to drive so much to get anywhere. I feel like in LA, you really have to plan your day. And you really have to plan your meetups with your friends. Every ganap or every lakad is intentional. <laughs> because it takes longer to get anywhere. Approaching the supercharger. Welcome to the world of Tesla drivers. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's charging now. Basically, the screen tells me how much time it's gonna take and how much charge I'm gonna get. So, we're just gonna wait a few minutes. So, this is where I usually do a TikTok. Come on, a long service. <laughs> It doesn't always have to be like that. When you're shooting it, it's like, nope, I'm not gonna work. It smells so good. This is in and out. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to eat it. I got a double cheeseburger animal style. I don't even care because this is I normally don't eat this, but I haven't eaten all day today, so in and out. Yummy. Should I take a bite? Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, hallelujah! <laughs> Self-driving mode! Look, it literally just follows the lines on the street. It'll slow down if there's a car in front of me. And this is the best feature, especially, let's just say, like, you're driving to the airport. It's so far. And, um, you just want to do other things <laughs> not do other things like that's irresponsible but you know like you can you can like get your mind off of just like looking at the
There's a lot. This is a big pile of my merch, which I hope you guys check out on my website, shopmecavier.com. This is one of my latest, the honest graphic long sleeve in vintage wash gray. It's so good quality. If you, I wish you could touch it because it's really good quality. This is the Love Is graphic tee. Same here, the beige version of the honest graphic tee. Wow, the brain of an artist. An entrepreneur, it's constant. It's like it never ends. You always have something to do. This is a little bit of my candle making process. I wanna show you guys that I actually do it all by myself. I've formulated these scents and did trial and error for so many months while we were in lockdown in the Philippines. So I already know how to do it. So this is like the quick way. So I take the soy wax, it's 100% soy wax with no other blends of other materials. And then you put it on the pot. I gotta stick the thermometer in there, make sure that we are doing everything in the correct temperature. While we wait, I figure out my, my oils. So I'll measure everything up. Ooh. Okay, all done. I think we are ready to pour. So I usually make sure that I weigh the candle so I know exactly how much I put in and how much it weighs and everything. So everything is uniform when I make it in bigger batches. Okay, now we gotta let it dry. So I usually put my candles up on this rack that I have. And obviously, these are already done. They've been sitting here for a while and they're ready to be sold. And all I have to do is package it like this. Super pretty and cute and homey. And it's good to go. I always find something else that I need to do every time I finish something. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a glimpse of what it's like to live in my shoes and to live this kind of artist entrepreneur life. Like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.